delighted to be joined post game on Sharks TV by Solway Sharks head coach Martin Grubb. Martin, a tough result out there, but it's the first weekend of pre-season and it's the result you probably expected facing a, a team from the league above. Yeah, um, the truth be told, we spoke before the game, we were not playing the scoreboard tonight. Um, Corey obviously is coming here with a really, really good team. Seen his, some of his um, interviews pre-game and he was talking about how they wanted to play with speed. Uh, so, so for us tonight, it was about trying to play at that speed or hang on to their speed as much as we could for as long as we could. So it was compete level, minutes in the legs, um, obviously details. And if we're honest, you know, I don't think it was that bad. I thought that there was some really good stuff. Of course, there was some real teaching clips that we'll have that we need to tidy up on. And then there's that 60% in the middle that we need to we need to get trending upwards, if you like. So um, I was relatively happy with that. We ain't going to play a team as good as Glasgow, um, especially every week. So it's a really good learning experience for us against a really good hockey team. Um, and as you say, for the very first night, I thought, I thought we'd done all right. It's the start of a three-weekend stretch of pre-season. It's all about getting minutes in the legs. We've seen out there tonight a lot of the, the younger players on our roster getting getting good, solid minutes out there. Is that part of the pre-season build-up that you're using to get to see what you can get out of these guys? 100%. You know, I think that it's like anything. You know, we, we knew over the summer that you, know, you look at Ross and Struan have now transitioned from playing to, to the bench roles and people thinking, you know, we've lost a couple of key guys. But they were young players and that's how they got their chance. So we've got to use this This as an opportunity to play the young guys. It's, it's you know, my and, and the coaching staff's responsibility to throw them into these situations to help them learn. Also, against a team who played four lines, we needed to have four lines. So it allowed us to roll, you know, albeit maybe not every, every kind of rotation, but allowed us to play four lines that allowed us to give people the, the, the appropriate amount of rest because you can't overplay, especially in game one. Um, of this weekend and pre-season. So, you know, I was really happy with the youngsters. I thought Owen Ray um, was really pretty solid. You know, Big Chevy does his thing and, you know, he competes and there's a couple of harsh calls on him. Joe Lynch done really well, Torrin done really well. You know, Bailey makes his debut with a bit more pressure maybe than some because of Jamie being on the bench. So, you know, I was happy with these young guys and the whole pre-season, everybody will get a chance to play. Because at, at the moment, People have got to cement some spots in the roster. People have got to try and, and push themselves into spots into the roster. So competition is healthy. And uh, you know, I, I quite like what the young guys did tonight. The guys um, were really appreciative of the, the young guys. And then obviously we had the old veteran at the back in Marzi who then uh, he done his job. So I, you know, I, 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 that's how we'll be in, in pre-season. Four lines where we can. I, I quite liked what the young, the young guys brought tonight. Tomorrow night it's the clan again. Is it much of the same tomorrow or are we coming in with the same lineup? Yeah, same lineup. Um Marzi will get rest and Callum will play. It was always the plan, one one game each. Uh, I think everybody else hopefully is comes through the night unscathed and be fit. We'll, we'll get hopefully get a chance to watch some of the video and try and tidy up some of the, the detail. But you know, much of the same. It's about learning, it's about moving forward, it's about just getting a little bit better tomorrow than we were today. And, and like you say, minutes in the legs should help. So the players now need to understand that they've got to recover and be ready to go again because you know that's that's our next 30 odd weeks, two games every weekend and, and travel on top of this. So we'll uh, you know we, we'll we'll see if we can make some slight adjustments to the way we play. It'll be the same lineup, and you know we're looking forward again to testing ourselves against a great hockey team tomorrow. Martin, thank you very much for joining us post game on Sharks TV. I'm sure you'll have a busy night ahead catching up on video and things and we'll be back here to do it all again tomorrow. Great, thanks Owen.